Hello, uh, my name is Alan and uh, I'm here to introduce briefly our uh, video furnace system uh, for high vision uh, network video. Uh, the furnace system uh, is a management system for all the streaming uh, events going on on, 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 a, on your network and you, it uses different sources, uh, many of them live either through encoders or other sources and can also play back uh, on a schedule uh, recorded assets as well as video on demand. Uh, what you see here is the uh, portal page which allows me to see my video on demand assets. Now this allows me, I'm allowed to view these assets because my user is allowed to view so you keep a tight control over all the different, uh, of the availability of all the different sources whether they be live or whether they be um, uh, already pre-recorded. Now I've just clicked on one, I've opened it and I'm actually seeing a, an asset that was pre-recorded. Now it's important to note that through the uh, furnace system we have uh, a number of ways of viewing video. Most importantly set top box which is the Stingray 2 and uh, most importantly actually is the in-stream player which is a what we like to call a zero footprint uh, player. It's a software that runs on basically almost any platform, Linux, Mac, uh, Windows, Solaris, and it, uh, it never actually installs. There is no need to install the software and there are no licenses for it. Uh, it is simply if the user has logged in and has access to view the content, the player will open and once it is closed, uh, there is no, nothing left on a PC. Uh, on the uh, for, for the uh, of, of the content. Now uh, this content can be streamed to the player uh, simply as raw video, but it also supports uh, FEC forward error correction and as well uh, encryption for security purposes up to 256 bits. And um, it's also possible to view, I had one opened earlier here, to view, uh, as you can see, a live event here. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a live event, you're able to, hold on, let me, let me open up another one. It's also possible to view multiple sources at the same time. When I open it, this is what I see. I see a number of live events that I can turn on. I can also see the on-demand events. I'm going to click on... Uh, on, for example, these torpedo sources, uh, which are actually, these sources are actually coming from satellite and are streamed across the network and become a, an available source in the system. Um, yeah, so, hold on, I, I've lost my, my access to full, okay, so, if I click on this, here we go, so, you are able to view multiple sources at the same time, you can add even more. Uh, to some, you see, I, in this case, I have a PIP. I can click and change which one I'm viewing. I can also move the video out and make it as large as I want and create more. I can open multiple instances of InStream if I want to do view even more programs at the same time. That was more than a minute. And a half.